Hi friends today i'll be discussing about under 5 wheezing which is a very important topic not only for pediatricians but also for the parents because this is the age group which is most important because we do not know what is happening to our children as well as why are they getting or why are they falling so sick and so fast and this something that will be dealt in this particular particular topic so before starting i'll be presenting a couple of uh, cases that we have seen or that we usually see in a day to day practice and give a little bit more about how do we do a tailor made treatment for these kids and make sure that these kids are taken care of in the best possible way so the first case that i'm going to discuss is a 3 year old well nourished toddler which is what we usually see in the urban middle class population previously normal till 3 years both height and weight were normal for the age presented to us with fever cough cold difficulty in breathing and feeding for one day has had similar episodes one month back requiring pico admission so this was a child who was perfectly normal until 3 years of age and in the last 2 months has had two episodes of wheezing for which the child has been admitted once for the pico mother also points out that these episodes started when the child joined the preschool 2 months ago and in between the mother also says that child has been perfectly fine so we know this is a child who has been otherwise perfectly fine and needs a bit more into not only the diagnosis of the particular problem but also in the treatment at the same time lot of parents will ask us doctor is this asthma second question will be does the child require long term medications and just the child require inhalational medications so all these questions will be definitely definitely something that will be not only asked but also something that has to be taken care of in a reasonable way so going on to the second case scenario this is a 4 year 6 month old child complaints of cough since last 2 months which is commonly what we see in our day to day practice cough dry nature more in the night time but also present in the day time more so during exercise induced that is whenever the child plays child sings child starts coughing a lot and has visited multiple pediatricians and prescribed oral medications as well as inhalational therapy and this particular child came to us and he was having significant amount of wheezing in his chest and when we looked at this particular child we could see that child also had a few eczematous patches on the skin even though there was eczematous patches seemed to be healing patches and something that was present at the past so again this is a child who has had a past history of atopic dermatitis or eczema presented to us with what we call as under 5 wheezing so we have two different clinical scenarios one is a child who has just started preschool and started wheezing with every viral infection and the second child is the one who has had past history of eczema which is called as atopic dermatitis and come to us with two months of cough so how do we treat them and do we need to give the same medications to them or should we treat them differently definitely first child is a child who has something called as under 5 wheezing which is happening because of a viral infection so as soon as the children get into a play school they are exposed to numerous number of kids and those kids can give viral infections to each other and this viral infection can definitely cause significant amount of wheezing in children in both these kids we would definitely want to ask not only personal history we would also want to ask the family history as well as environmental history in the second case both father and mother had allergic rhinitis which has been persistent throughout their life as well as the grandparents had allergic crinitis so there is a significant family history and environmental history wise the first child did not have any problems but the second child had significant amount of exposure to house dust mites in terms of fluffy blankets fluffy carpets sofa sets in the house as well as father being a smoker so both children have to be dealt in accordingly the first child because child has had a pico admission and child has had second episode which is amounting to a pico admission definitely we would start the child on a inhaled corticosteroid so just a little bit about under 5 wheezing under 5 so wheezing is a continuous high pitch sound with the musical quality the emitting from the chest during expiration the sound is caused by increased turbulent air flow through the obstructed airways and wheezing is 
a common symptom and this is very common in preschool children that is one in three children have at least one episode before the before the third birthday and that is what i was talking to you about the first child and almost 50% have at least one episode by 6 years of age so you can see that in this particular picture the amount of bronchospasm that is breathing pipe narrowing that happens during each episode of wheezing and what you can see is from a normal breathing pipe to the significant wheezing that happens only in children who are wheezing significantly but the intermediate image is what usually children present to us so when children present to us with no symptoms only uh, no clinical signs but only symptoms that is more than enough for us to say your child has wheezing and needs to be started on treatment so what we have uh, learned today is under five wheezing is not as simple as we think under five wheezing needs a tailor made treatment not everybody needs to be started on inhaler therapy we have intermittent uh, uh, relievers and we have preventive therapy so depending on child's condition depending on family history depending on neurological history we have something called as modified asthma predictive index through which we can predict the possibility of high, uh, low probability medium probability or high probability and depending on that we treat this kids accordingly thank you